I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Can I talk to somebody here? Someone shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't hear you. Were. Shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone say extra. Say extra, extra, extra. Anytime you see lamp in the Bible, it represents the word of God. David said, Thy word is a lamp to my path. So, the Bible makes us to understand that these virgin were not just ordinary virgin. They had the word of God in their life. They had the word of God in their life. They were loaded with the scripture just for the journey. But there was no extra oil of the word of God to keep them. Can I talk to somebody here? Oh, pastor, you don't understand. Since I gave my life to Christ, I have been coming from one battle to the other. Nobody seems to love me. In my department, they gossip me. I am tired. Pastor, you don't understand. After I got married to my husband, I never dreamt that he was going to beat me. But since the day we got married, I have been a punching bag. I am tired. I want to quit. You are quit because there is no extra oil can I talk to somebody here you are quitting because there is no extra oil the white virgin took extra oil and their lamp to travel the foolish virgins never took extra oil they took only their lamp because they felt when you are born again nobody should fight you when you are born again nobody should gossip you when you are born again you should not lose love work when you are born again nobody should criticize you this is why the bible called them foolish virgin because they were not ready for battle they wanted to flow they never want obstruction they never understand that even though he slay me i will live even though the righteous fall several times i will surely rise why will i rise because i have extra oh yeah hi -yah 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 -yah. Can I preach here? Can I preach here? Can I preach here? Can I preach here? You cannot kill me when you think I am dead. The extra oil will work for me. When you think I am nobody, the extra oil will work for me. When you think I am about to give up, the extra oil will work for me. I can't die the way I came. I have an extra oil. Let Ruben live and not die. When you think my business is over, my business will overflow. I came with an extra oil. I came with an extra oil. I am not alone because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Let Ruben live and not die. And when the Lord took the captivity of Zion around, we were like men that dreamed in sapphire. Extra oil, extra oil, extra oil. Can I talk to somebody here? Oh, can I talk to somebody here? Shout the fire, let me hear you where. <laughs> Shut the fire, let me hear you where. <laughs> Shut the fire, let me hear you where. Oh, the Bible said five were foolish and five were wise five virgins were foolish five virgins were wise five it means somebody can be holy and still be foolish mm. it means somebody can still carry the word of god and still be foolish <laughs> uh, what is the bottom line here the Bible said that while they tarried, they thought the journey was going to be short. And the Bible said the bridegroom tarried. That means he did not come at the time they expected him to come. So they slept and the alarm and the oil in 
the lamp dried off. And by the time the bridegroom cried, there was a midnight cry. Ladies and gentlemen, there is always a midnight cry when all hope are gone when you feel i am tired when your legs are broken when everybody have left you when there are no bones to walk when they have deserted you and rejected you when they have said all manner of war that is when the alak bala to sholeayero will rise up and cry midnight cry there was a cry now the bridegroom is ready and the bible said every one of them stood up now listen to me it is not every believer that is standing that is standing you do not hear me it's not every believer that is standing that is standing the bible said as they all stood up the other wise one took the extra oil in their hand and poured into the lamp while the foolish one saw their light burning down they never expected that why do i need the extra oil i need the extra oil for battles unexpected battles unexpected enemies unexpected attack why do i need the extra oil i need the extra oil not because of now but because of the future why do i need the extra oil i need the extra oil when all is dark and the enemy wants my candlelight to die so i pour the extra oil and say i am a city a light that is set upon the city my life cannot be dim yeah at the light of the world i cannot stop giving my life the bible said and the light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehended it not you cannot kill my life enemies the attack of life cannot kill my life i carried an extra oil i communicated extra oil prophet joshua iginla will be back in a moment Worship with us this Sunday at Champions Royal Assembly behind Deeper Life, Biazi in Kubwa, Abuja, Nigeria. I cannot be born in a manger and die in the manger. No way, no way. For the spirit of the righteous are ordered, are ordered by the Lord. Yea, a royal nation, peculiar people. You have been set aside. Time of services. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. first service. 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. second service. For more inquiries, please call 081-649-55049 or 070-5727-8141. You with a child there? Yes. Is that your child? Come, come with that child. I'm not seeing you holding the child. I see you holding the coffee. God is reversing it right now. There is a brother all the way from Kaduna. Your name is Silas David. 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 I need a you need a word. Silas David. All the way from Kaduna. Your name is Silas David. Silas. Is he here? I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord Amen I say I shall not die you should die but live and declare Stretch out your arms towards this child. Listen 
come to me, my daughter. From now to the next two weeks, don't give this child to anybody to carry for you. From now to the next two weeks, the compound where you stay is a dangerous compound. I see you give filling bottle. I see the child be giving a filling bottle. What they keep in children's mouth. And I see the person holding the child, giving this child as if he's helping you to feed the child. And I'm seeing a black substance opened and put into it. For now to the next two weeks. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. I cancel the arrow of death on this child. Please help me say the amen word. Is it a boy? Yes, sir. Is it a boy? Yes, sir. You know, when you carried this pregnancy of this child, it was not easy for you. Yes, sir. The day of delivery, it was bad. Yes, sir. It, it was like you were going to die. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 and it, it took a miracle for this child to come. Yes, sir. While you were in the pregnancy of this child, there was a misunderstanding between you and somebody that was serious. Yes. Uh, do you remember? Yes, sir. You remember? Yes, sir. Now that you have not remembered the person, you are not know why I am talking. Okay, sir. If God exposed your enemy, it is over. Yes, sir. Shut fire! <laughs> Mama, come on, hold this child. I want to anoint him. The Lord said this child is going to be a great prophet. Madam, do you like the way God is using me? God is going to use your child this way. I'm not exciting you. That's what is going to happen. I'm taking him to the future of this child. I see him in a big stadium. I saw everybody around and he was busy prophesying. I anoint you because they have seen your future. I give you extra oil to get to your destination. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not die. Come and take your living child now. No more coffee. The coffee has been taken away. I saw it scattered. You can go back. You are free. Can somebody jump up and shut fire? Shut fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, come, come. Yes, you. No, you, yes. Where's your car? You sold your car. You're surprised I ask you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I know you have car, but I now ask you where is what? Your car. I've sold my car. When when did you sold it? I sold my car, I think uh, last month. <sighs> you have to warn your father and your family member to stop relating your issue at all. They have padlock your destiny that's what god showed me you know things are hard now yes sir completely hard yes sir in fact you are asking yourself what is happening again yes sir yes and, sir and, and and the lord showed me that there there is somebody that your your parents are always sitting down discussing your issue and this person is a complete witch with an eye grade now the reason why you sold your car it was trouble storm yes. debt yes. that you cannot explain yes. now they have said that they will make it difficult for you to provide for the family yes sir now god is going to reverse it right now yes. 